this video, I'm going to be making a new Arduino program, but it's only using a single LED, so I'm going to just copy an old circuit. So I'm going to grab the Arduino SOS. I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to rename the circuit instead of copy of Arduino SOS. I'm going to rename it um, Arduino Fade, and I'm going to leave video in there just because this is the video version. And then in my code section, I'm going to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. I am going to leave the pin 3 attached, but I'm going to get rid of all the short and long stuff. I'm going to get rid of, leave the pin mode, but I'm going to get rid of all the code inside of the loop. And what we're going to do is instead of digital writing this light, we're going to use an analog write. That's going to let me vary the value of how bright this is. Analog write, and we're going to light LED in. And we're going to start off by just lighting at like 20. And you'll see if I start the simulation. Oh, I forgot a semicolon. Let's try that again. It's going to be lit kind of dim. But if I put it at 200, I'll stop simulation. And I start my simulation, and it seems brighter. How if I go to 2000? It looks about the same brightness. How about 20,000? It kind of looks dimmer this time. So let's explore and see what happens if we vary the brightness over time. Let's make a new integer called bright. And that's going to be equal to 0. And each time, we're going to take bright and add 1 to it using the plus plus. Now, if I run this code, we're not really seeing anything. And that's probably because it's running really fast. So we need to put some sort of delay. So let's do delay, and let's do 50. And now, if you look carefully, that is slowly getting brighter. It'd be really nice to know what brightness was right now. Oh, it just reset. Now it's dim. So let's take and add another thing. Let's let the Arduino talk to us. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to add what's called a serial connection. That's serial data, sort of like USB is universal serial bus. This is a serial. And we're going to do serial.begin and just put 9600. It's kind of a magic number, but that's how fast we're going to talk. And that's a good value. And here, we're going to do serial.println, print line, right. If we run this now and open the serial monitor, we can see the number go up. And it's going to keep going and going, 100, 120, 180, 220. And then all of a sudden, it's going to reset. And it really reset right around 250, technically at 255. That's because 255 is the biggest 8-bit number that we can do. Sort of like an odometer rolls over. You know, if you have, you know, an uh, odometer with those old spinning numbers and it hits the top number, it would then go from 9999 to 0000. zero, 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 zero. That's the same thing here. When it hits 255, it goes from 11111111 to 000000. zero, 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 zero. If there's an extra number, it would be one in front of those. But there's no extra number, so it just resets. So let's take and say whenever it hits 250, we're going to reset. We're going to use an if statement. If right is greater than 255, right equals 0. Let's see what happens now. So if we do it, we're going to watch the numbers go up. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 180, 190, 200. And now it resets, and we can actually see the numbers reset. Now to make it go down again, we're going to need one more thing. We're going to do int change is equal to 1. Instead of incrementing right by plus plus, we're going to do plus equal, which means add on to, the change. 
And here we're going to make change equals negative change. So if change was positive, it'll now be negative. If change was negative, it'll now be positive. So we're going to start simulation. It's going to go up, 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 up. Should really turn the delay down. I'll do that next time. And now it's going to go down when it hits the top. So 250. Now we're going down again to 20 to 10. And it should be getting dimmer slowly here. Doesn't really render great in a computer. It would definitely be, or on a real breadboard, it would really be easy to see. And it resets. Oh no, we're going negative. So we also have to check to see if it's going less than equal, if it's equal to zero. So if it is less than or equal to zero, change will negative change. And let's make delay five, and let's see if it fades nice and smoothly back and forth. So it's getting brighter. This number is going up nicely. And now we're going down. The light's getting dimmer. We hit zero. We're going back up again. And now it goes back and forth really nicely. And that is our Arduino fade. And I'll post this code along with the INO file.